All right, let's try this. Door. Window. Ooh. Door. Furniture. Hello everyone, welcome to Accessible Tech Info, and in this video, we're gonna look out. Yeah, look out by Google. So, let's open the app. Look out. Click over here. Look out. Right. Look out. Onboarding one of three. Onboarding one of three. So, let's just swipe. Welcome to Lookout. Alright. Before you begin, choose next to learn how your data is used and review tips for getting the most out of Lookout. Next button. So, click next. Next button. Lookout onboarding two of three. Your images are processed and stored on your device. To improve how Lookout works, Google may log usage data and whether any accessibility services are on while you're using Lookout. The so, Google terms of service apply to the use of this app and the Google privacy oh. policy describes how data is handled. No, oh, thank you button. Okay. I agree button. I agree. Lookout onboarding three of three. Lookout uses your device's camera to help read text and recognize objects. Remember that Lookout may misidentify things, so use normal caution and don't rely only on the app for information about what's around you. Choose right. started to turn on the camera and start hearing about what's near. Get started button. So this is the issue that we face every day, that we believe that uh, the app would uh, predict the right thing all the time. But it's uh, we, uh, we all know that it's a computer-based program, so it may not read out everything properly. But yeah, it may give some sort of help. Lookout use get started button. Get started. Text mode. Lookout text mode. Allow Lookout to take pictures and record video. All right, here are the permissions. Allow Lookout to take the night button. So we'll just allow. allow. Text mode. Choose an account. Return it to public and clip with repeat right, and so gmail.com and check. Select an account. Check. And click OK. Button. okay. Text mode. Okay. Back button. So by default, the text mode is selected. You can, you know, move around your device to find text uh, around your environment. So every time you open a mode, uh, it will give you a pop-up saying that you know this works in this way that way and if you want to uh, stop it uh, stop the pop-up you can just check uh, check the don't show this again miss checkbox so all right let's see this point your camera at any text if the text isn't read clearly try rotating the device between landscape and portrait modes or moving the text closer or farther don't show this again checkbox unchecked okay button so i'll just press okay so so before exploring the things i'll just uh, navigate through the app so at first you can see at the top right corner you get the Google account which is selected for Google Lookout. So this is, and if you if you go a bit left, at the top in between, so the, it says the language, the text, because it's selected in text mode. Uh, it depends upon the mode which is selected, so you get different options over there. Change so, language, English selected button. There's nothing over there. Anymore. So, and at the uh, at the bottom of your screen, you get all the modes. For example, if you're using a full screen device, you'll find those options at the top of your navigation options like um, overview, back, and home. So, but if you're not using any full screen device. So you can just straightly find it uh, at the bottom of your screen. There, it's arranged in tabs. It's just like uh, the tabs which you find on YouTube. So you can explore it in that way. You can also swipe left to right. And above the tabs in the left corner, you'll find the turn on camera button. Turn camera button. And at the same position in the right corner, you'll get the recent button. button. The recent button I'll show you uh, after exploring some of the text. It, it's basically uh, it stores the you know text or the stuffs which the lookout has collected while you're exploring your while you're exploring your environment and if it senses a low light it turns on your phone's flashlight automatically so yeah it's sometimes it's really annoying sometimes and um, but still it's a really pretty good app the, uh, the, uh, the developers are trying to you know make works easier for the visually impaired and stuff. All right. So now let me just turn on my camera. Turn camera button. Uh, by default, the camera is on. You don't need to worry about that. Me, just for security issues, I've just turned it off. All right. So I'll just turn it on and point it to a poster, you can say. I'll just point it over there. RMS. New Orient Bakery and Sweet 6 HOP No. H7. All Market Mobile 00224077 MS. New Orient 2021 MS. New Orient Bakery and Sweets Shop No. 8701 L Market. Dulyagen 2021 Jouncy Nay Cosage Fissa Can. Fancy Scuds. Bread. Sweet and Curd Shop No. 802021 Uunsi MS. New Orient Bakery and Sweets BNT Can. Turn camera off button. Alright, so you've seen it has read out all the text and 
Now you can find if you press the recent button, which is the the right corner. If you press there, you'll find the text which the local has recently announced. So it even gives you the time when you turn. So I'll just now I'll show you if I'm just putting down my camera and um, it will automatically turn on the flashlight and you can hear that low light flashlight on so you heard that it says low light flashlight on but you can straightly you know turn off your camera all right so this is the text mode so um, I'm, I'm, catch I'm touching that's underneath my finger that's text mode so if i move my finger a bit left food labels, beta, mode. so food labels i don't have any <laughs> Food stuffs right now, so let's try it out. Oh. Explore beta, so mode. explore beta. So if you press over here, explore, explore mode. So yeah, it's it's on a beta test. So you know, some of the stuffs may not be pronounced correctly or announced pr properly. So you can see the pop up out here. Explore mode. Point your camera around you to hear about what's in your environment, such as people, objects, and text. Moving the device slowly or holding it still for a few seconds can help improve accuracy. Don't leave both. The display is still in beta and is less accurate than other modes. Don't show this again. Check box and check. Right. Okay button. Okay button. Put out explore mode. So let me just turn on button. my camera. Let's see how it does. Musical keyboard. All right. So it's set correctly. Okay. So it announced properly. It, it says uh, the musical keyboard. You know, um, some of the stuffs. I mean, a massive number of things and. You know, if it's not easy to bring, uh, announce each and every stuff that's around your environment, so that's why even you know this mode can be really sometimes a disturbance. You know, it can... All right, so let's try the next one. Building musical instrument. So it was a guitar, no doubt it said a musical instrument. No worries. So now let's see the wires. Okay, it's just a. Random cables. All right, here we go. Shoe. Shoe? Oh man! It's not a shoe. All right. So this is a rec just a device, a recording device. Remote control. Oh, remote control. Even my friends out there says that it's it looks like a remote control. All right, no worries. Let's try it out. Text mode. Document mode. Documents. So documents next is the documents mode. So you can try it out documents here. Mode. Hold your device in portrait mode. Move it slowly and listen for lookups, real time position and guidance. You can also use the take snapshot button at any time to read the text anew. So it's, it, it reads out the documents. It's just like the text mode, but uh, you know, you can find out pages and you can also click photos of it. Don't show this again. Check box and check OK button. All right, let's try out the documents mode. Um, okay, it's not a document actually. <laughs> It's a cheese, a uh, pack of cheese. So let's try if it works over here. Turn camera on button. What it Document says? Mode selected. Take snapshot button. Can detect text. Too far. Move device closer. Closer. Too far. Move okay. closer. Move closer. Okay. Move closer. Try taking a snapshot to scan what's in view. Scan item details. All right. So here's the scan item. Um, Close the tails button. Amul cheese. Yes. Close the tails button. It's a cheese by Amul. Woo! Good job. Anyways, it also depends upon the environment that we live in and the way that we are, uh, you know, the way we are holding our devices. So, the the app is doing fine. Uh, food, text, food labels. Food labels. Food labels. Food labels. Food labels. Food labels. Look up. Scan barcode. Don't show this again. Check OK button. OK button. Download data. Okay, we need to data. download something. The food labels mode. You need to download more data. This can take up to five minutes. This mode of the camera is disabled until the download is complete. Oh, now button. really? Download button. Let's download. Country. Uh, uncheck Austria, German. Uncheck Belgium. Uncheck Brazil. Uncheck Canada. Uncheck Canada. Uncheck Chile. Uncheck Colombia. Uncheck Italy. Uncheck Italy. Uncheck Italy. Uncheck Italy. Uncheck Italy. Okay, so let's. Uncheck Italy. Italian only affects food labels mode. Country cancel button. Confirm button. Confirm button. Put up food label. Download started. Till then, you can hear this. A few moments later. All right. One second. Stop recording. So it's no downloaded. Uh, wait, buddy. All right, let's see. No product and view. No product and view. Can you? A mole processed cheese cube. Oh, yes, this is a cheese cube. A mole processed cheese cube. Oh, oh, oh. 
So next is the currency mode and I'm really sorry I can't help you with that because I'm young, dumb and broke. So right now all the currencies are not being read by Google Lookout. It will be processed via it, it will be processed via updates. But till then it can still work on some countries' currencies. I don't know exactly which are the countries. Alright, so besides that, uh, we have the set settings over here. So it's the top right corner, you just press over here. Close. So this is the Gmail account. Set. Settings. Click over here. Settings. All right. Automatic flashlight. Switch on automatically. Use your flashlight to improve image recognition. You can turn this off. Automatic flashlight. I guess it's quite annoying. You can just turn this off. Switch on. Document scan hints. Switch on. Get document scan hints. All right. Document scan hints. It will say you know to move far away something like that. Switch on. Document scan hints. Switch on. Switch on. Haptic feedback. Switch on. Use vibrations to confirm actions. All right, so this is the haptic feedback. Switch on. Manage pose. Turn on slash off pose. Uh, this is the turn and off mode. Text speed up. Manage pose. Turn on slash off pose. Manage pose. Okay, you can look over here. Turn on here. manage pose. Text explore. Data. On switch on. Food labels. Data. On switch on. So Text on switch on. You can on switch on. turn this off. Any any modes you can turn them off. All right, so all are important. So I don't Setting. think so. We we, didn't, uh, we need to turn any mode off. But yeah, I guess sometimes the text mode documents and the food labels are kind of same because you know if you want to point out to something which is in text so the text mode can work properly but the thing the benefit with documents mode is it can tell you that where the text is located so you can just instruct you that's kind of uh, something good all right so this is the text to speech output. Slider position. We, know, pitch. we all know about this. Play button. Reset button. Yeah. Play button. You can hear this. This is an example of speech synthesis. All right. So that's it for today. I hope you love this video. Please don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe to this channel, and leave an appealing comment. Thanks for watching. Thank you.